Stand guard here. I'll tell the Holy One. This common, you have sealed your own doom. Now, the dragon strikes. What is this sky check? A deed of violence within the holy wall? He's Drummond's friend. He must have attacked the guards. This is most unfortunate. These things should not happen here. Open the door. Are you all right? Yes, but I sure had a narrow escape from those closing walls. Closing walls? What do you mean? A clever little arrangement for crushing a man to death. Somebody locked me in and turned it on. Holy one, this must be the room of death the ancient records tell about. I have long known that one of the rooms was used for that purpose, but never knew which one. When Mr. Drummond slammed the door, the shop must have started the mechanism. That must be the explanation. Guy, check. Tells me there is blood upon your hands. I didn't kill Lotan. He was dead when I found him. You forget we found you standing over him with this gun in your hand. Let me take a look at that gun. The gun belongs to Henry Key over at the airport. Henry Key? Sure, there's his initials right on the gun. You mean the Mongolian member of the Committee of International Airways? Maybe he can throw some light on who killed Lotan. He's just saying that to clear himself. I had no reason to kill Lotan. On the contrary, I had every reason for taking him alive. Why, sure. We just wanted to find out what he knew about those mysterious attacks on international airways. Yes, we were questioning him at the airport when the dragon warned me to let him go. The dragon? Yes, the mysterious enemy who was trying to keep international airways out of this country. There is more here than meets the eye, Kaiji. Let them go their way in peace. Thank you, Holy One. A request, good father. That prayer wheel gave me the idea that saved my life. May I have it as a keep? Grant it, my son. Fetch it for him, Chang Ho. May the blessings of the wheel descend upon you, my son. You are very kind, Holy One. What do you want with that darn thing? Some kind of radio receiving set that the dragon uses. I'm gonna find out how it works. Tell him to stand by, Billy. I'm gonna try it again. Okay. Stand by, Peggy. Ace is gonna try again. We're ready. Here goes another try, Jay. Go ahead, Ace. I've got my fingers crossed. One, two, three, four, five. Now's the time for all good men and true to come to the aid of their country. Well, has he started yet? Oh, we're wasting our time. This thing might have talked to Ace, but you're not on speaking terms with me. One, two, three, four. Check. How about it, Peggy? It still doesn't work. He says it still doesn't work. I give up. I've tried every wavelength in Mongolia. But why do you suppose it doesn't work? The dragon must have special equipment of his own. I suppose we haven't used enough things? Look, Ace. Let's try this one. I'll try anything once. It's working. Look, 
gate. Something's happened. Well, here goes. One, two, three, four. Tell Ace I heard him. Jimmy said it works. I was surprised to say. Give me a motor to roar, give me a plane to soar into the blue, following through. Give me a trail to blaze, cause the rest of my days I'm gonna fly, and it's gonna be high. Give me luck and a happy landing, and a tailwind good and strong. Give me the open sky, give me a ship to fly, give me a song, give me a ship and a song. What are you doing, Drummond? Just a minute. How about it, Peggy? It worked, Ace, it worked. Come on. Where are you going? What's this all about? I just found out how the dragon talks to his men. Well, then what value is that? Don't you see, Mr. Winston, we can listen in when the dragon talks. What you say is true, you know the dragon's plans and be ready whenever he strikes. There's no doubt about it. Come over to the hangar and I'll prove it to you. So sorry and late, Mr. Merritt. That's all right, Johnny. Oh, uh, Mr. Drummond's been using the radio while you were gone. Thank you, please, Mr. Drummond. C5, calling C1. C5, calling C1. C1, C1, go ahead, C5. Regret, urgent news, makes necessary, call you now. Go ahead, go ahead. Hey, we heard every word just as plainly as if you were right here in the room. Boy, it sure worked. What did you get it? At the monastery where Jerry and I chased Lothan. We were just about to grab him when he was mysteriously killed with this gun. Jerry says it belongs to Henry Key. Henry Key? Mm -hmm. So it does. Gentlemen. Hello, Key. Hello. Mr. Key, have you ever seen this gun before? Of course. It was mine. Was? I sold it a week ago. Would you mind telling us to whom you sold it? Not at all. To Dr. Power. May I ask, what is this all about? Mr. Meredith will explain. Excuse me. Hey, Jerry. Got a car handy? For sure, Ace. Eh? What's up? You and I are going to run over to Dr. Bower's camp and pay him a little visit. Peggy, you and Billy wait at the office.
ready. Here they come. Yeah, thanks to you, Billy. If you hadn't warned us, we'd have walked right into their trap. But how did you know about it, anyway? I heard it riding, giving orders to his men. You what? Yes, over the prayer room, just after you left. But it was Henry Key. I'll know more about that after I've talked with Bauer. You go on to the monastery and get help for those men, then take Billy on to the airport. You're not going to tackle Bauer alone. Gee, A.T. may be the dragon. I think I can handle him all right. Where's Dr. Bauer? It's a car coming. Hey, Drummond, what are you doing here? I came to see you, Dr. Bauer. Indeed. What about? This gun. I understand it's yours. Mine? If it were, it would have my own initials on it. Oh, yes, the initials. I know they're Henry Keyes, but I understand he sold you the gun. Well, if Henry Key is trying to plant a gun on you, he's going to cover himself. What do you mean, Wyckoff? There are some things that Henry Key might find it hard to explain. <laughs> There's been a bad accident. A car with four people in it went off the cliff. I come to get help. Chang Ho, send several of the monks out to help him. How did it happen, my son? They were chasing Ace Drummond and me, and the car went off the road. Christ doom is he who dies with evil in his heart. Drummond has escaped the trap you set for him. I'll send more men at once. Send the plane to the Hall of Dead King. Yes, sir. What you tell me is very interesting, Wyckoff. I'll certainly ask Henry Key to explain. Sorry to have left you to a book, uh, Drummond. But I've had some very important instructions I have to give to my native digger. Quite all right, Dr. Darwin. You're not leaving us, are you? Yes, the sooner this is settled, the better. Oh, well, you're here, I'd like to show you around. You have unearthed some very interesting things. Oh, let me out! 
Very interesting. It sounded like a man's voice. Oh, we hear all sorts of funny noises around here. Yo! It came from in there. Wait. Mm -hmm. He may not have come here alone. Absolutely amazing. It's Dr. Trainer. Dr. Trainer? Peggy's father? My daughter? Is she here in Mongolia? Yes, at the airport. She's been searching for you ever since you disappeared. But dear Trainer, what on earth happened to you? Wyckoff and I have given you up for day. I was captured by some natives in the pay of two men who have been holding me prisoner here. Do you know who they are? No, they always kept their faces covered. Why were they holding you prisoner? To make me tell them the location of a mountain of jade which I discovered. A mountain of jade? Well, that would be worth millions. Maybe that's the stake the dragon's playing for. I think you'll pay the woman. And it would explain why the dragon doesn't want the airport located here in Mongolia. Maybe you're right, Bauer. At any rate, you can give me a lot of valuable information, Dr. Trainer. Let's go to the airport at once. You coming along? No, thanks. We don't make an archaeological discovery like this every day. We'll drop over to the airport this evening, Trainer, and see how you're getting along. Thank you. over here, Doctor. Looks like one of those dragon planes. 